What's poppin' gang? Today we're going to be mixing rap vocals and we're going to be figuring out which is better, Universal Audio or Waves. We're going to use their EQs, we're going to use the compressors and see which one you mainly use. And I'm not going to use every single Wave plugin that they offer. We're just going to be using the EQ and the compressor in this video. And the EQ and the compressors that we're going to use are the main ones like the SSL console EQ and the Universal Audio compressors that people use from Waves and, and all that kind of other stuff. And let's just see which one sounds better. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that like button it helps with the channel. Also, go ahead and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified about more videos like this. So let's go ahead and get started. I have the exact same SSL console from Universal Audio and from Waves, and they both are on the exact same track. I'm going to start off with the Universal Audio SSL channel and then flip back from the Waves version to see which one is better. And let me know in the comments if you notice the difference or not. Make sure you're listening to really great headphones so you can hear the difference. I know the truth and I'ma find this shit out yeah. I'ma hit it, I'ma go and press rewind and I'm out Then I'm out By the baby, she took the pain all away I done heard all the lies, cannot trust what you say Make me wanna give it all up And make a nigga not care did you notice the difference? Let me know in the comments. Uh, personally, I think the Waze version was a little bit more darker and muddier versus the Universal Audio one. The Universal Audio just sounded more clean and just more controlled. And in some of the peaks and stuff like that, in the Waze version, I just felt like they weren't as controlled as much as the Universal Audio version. Let's try using the free EQ from Pro Tools and see if that sounds better or is there even a big difference? Both pockets, watch the shit disappear. Niggas start just changing that when you cocking all your fears. Going crazy on the grand bitch, you the thought of the year. It's cash stuck, I'm a hustler, fuck luck. Don't even try me, bitch. I just got my pistol tucked. Did you guys notice a difference? Honestly, I think there was a difference. Uh, I just felt like the Universal Audio version sounded the best um, as far as like the EQ. Let me know if you think the free version sounded the best or not. Maybe you didn't, I don't know. Let's talk about compressors. I have a, a couple of compressors from Universal Audio and from Waves, and let's see which one sounds the best. And before I do, I just wanna go ahead and shout out to one of our sponsors, shout out to DistroKid. If you're looking to release your music on Apple Music, Spotify, and all the other streaming platforms, they can help you out. They have really nice features after you release your music like mini video where you can have different type of videos to promote your next release. You got all different type of graphics that you can use for stories or for your post on like Instagram or Facebook. And personally, I really think they look nice. They also have another feature called social phone. So if you want to text all your followers and people that really like your music, you can do that and send them all one text. Personally, I really think this is a great way to connect with your fans and it's super easy just to text them and then they're all gonna get the notifications versus relying on an algorithm. And personally, I went ahead and set this up for myself and I got a phone number if you guys ever wanna text me. Go ahead and text this number that's listed right here and you'll get connected with me if you have any questions, you want your songs mixed, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just ask, ask me anything, bro, I'm right here. I highly recommend setting these features up for yourself if you're releasing music so fans can get connected. There's a link in the description, 7% off, get started today. Next, okay, let's go ahead and talk about the compressors with Universal Audio and Waves. Which one's a better compressor to use? They have different compressors where they emulate uh, expensive gear like the U76, and Universal Audio also just released like a interface that has the U76 compressor built into it. So I, I think that's pretty dope. But let's try out the plugins and see which one sounds better, the one from actual Universal Audio themselves or from Waves. So you can see I have them pulled up right here and they basically have the exact same settings. And let's just see which one sounds the best. I know the truth and I'ma find this shit out. Yeah. I'ma hit it, I'ma go and press rewind and I'm out. Then I'm out. By the baby, she took the pain all away. Yeah. I done heard all the lies, cannot trust what you say. Yeah. Maybe wanna give it all up yeah. and make a nigga not care. Yeah. Money in both pockets. Watch the shit this Did you notice a difference? Personally, um, I think there is a difference. You know, like one of them just has a little bit more detail. The other one just sounds a little bit more darker. Let me know in the comments if you think there's really a difference as well. So far, I think my favorite is the Universal Audio version. I don't know, it just sounds a little bit more cleaner to me. Now there's a different version of the Universal Audio 76 
compressor which has like this blue stripe on it and they have a plug-in version and it's called the 1176a and let's just see like which one sounds different like the waves version or the universal audio version got a back sent from spain i need top now in the plane like a zombie i need brain and i'm just trying to maintain and i'm not trying to explain see a thought and that's what they claim need you to suck got a nigga pain she put the cast above all really want a nigga to ball tell the truth oh you my dog gotta be mad like you huh who the fuck can I call? Son. Did you notice a difference? You know what I'm saying? Like, I really like the Universal Audio 1176A compressor. It does some really nice things to it. It kind of keeps it over the beat a lot. The placement of it is a lot different from the Waves version. Let me know if you noticed that or not. With YouTube's compression, it might be a little bit different. I really like the sound of it. It, it sounds pretty good. They, they add a lot of different distortions and saturation with the compressor version, but it's, it's kind of clean and it gives it a little bit more detail when they add that in there. So, at least I, at least I, Think. maybe it doesn't maybe it just sounds horrible maybe that's what you think let me know in the comments um also let's go ahead and see like how much that compressor sounds different from like a free one from pro tools okay so you see here i have a free compressor from pro tools and i kind of just dialed in some of the settings just to kind of get it close to the actual plugins from like universal audio and let's just see which one sounds better he put the cast above all really want a nigga to ball tell the truth oh you my dog gotta be mad like you huh who the fuck can I call? The sorry so bad that I think she's breaking the law. If we not really involved, pick up my call. G give me your all. Did you notice the difference? Like, let me know in the comments. So personally, uh, if I didn't have any paid plugins or anything like that, I would definitely use these free plugins. If I really had to, I have to pay one. So why not just use those? You know what I mean? I paid for it. You feel me? Let me know what other videos you want to see on this channel. Hopefully you guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.